Monster versus Muscle. That's what this chapter is all about, as it's focused entirely on the hero hunter Garo and the S-Class hero Darkshine. This chapter is pretty much all action, filled with a bunch of great artwork showing off the epicness of Garo and the majestic body of Darkshine. I've only seen muscles like this once before. Kono Weebuda! At first, it seems Darkshine has the advantage in this fight, which isn't surprising as it looks like Garo is full natty, while Darkshine is clearly on the juice. One of my favorite panels is when Garo is fruitlessly wailing away on Darkshine as he just stands there flexing. He's just standing there, menacingly! After Darkshine delivers a solid blow to Garo's chin, he literally knocks Garo conscious, as it was revealed Garo was actually asleep the entire time. Ah, uh, where am I? <laughs> the last thing he remembered was fighting the monster King Orochi, and he wonders if the little bull cut kid escaped. Reminding us again, Garo truly isn't bad deep down. There's good in him. One thing I noticed around this point is one of Garo's eyes is still dark like usual, but for the rest of the chapter, both of his eyes are white. I'm not sure if this is a mistake or what. Many people theorize that his eye changing color was the start of his monster transformation, while others theorize it was just a bloodshot eye. And if it went back to normal, that would mean it was probably just a bloodshot eye. However, that doesn't explain why both of his eyes were white at the beginning of this chapter. Then one of them got dark for a few panels. And then they both went back to white. So I assume Murata made a small error there. But I'm not sure if he accidentally made one eye dark again for a few panels, or if he just forgot the color in one of his eyes for most of the chapter. Or maybe Garo's eye is supposed to be changing colors back and forth. I really have no idea. I just thought I would make a small note of my observation. Now that he's awake, Garo is able to utilize his full power and skill, and he's able to land a solid blow. Darkshine then offers him a place in the Hero Association, telling him that they have the best equipped sports gym. A temptation no bodybuilder could refuse. Unfortunately, Garo has yet to grasp the true power and beauty behind muscle, so this was not enough to sway him. Instead, he declares that both the Monster and Hero Association will be destroyed by tonight. Darkshine then hits Garo with the full force of his muscle. Supposedly, it landing would mean instant death. Yet, Garo gets hit after failing to deflect it and doesn't die. I suppose it meant instant death to anyone who isn't an important character. Darkshine begins to lecture Garo, but Garo calls him a hypocrite while thinking back on the time where he was the one who saved the bullcut kid from the heroes. Garo then turns it around and starts lecturing Darkshine. And I'm pretty sure Garo is trying to say that the heroes are abusing their power and championing themselves as the side of justice, when really, there's no such thing and they're just putting their ideals onto others with their superior force. Garo says the ironically somewhat heroic line of, That's why I fight. I will put my life on the line to crush justice. And while at first glance, crushing justice may not sound heroic, I believe Garo is talking about crushing the justice made up by the powerful, not what he himself considers to be just. So he's basically playing monster to reform society. The chapter then flashes over to Flashy Flash and Caped Baldi, and we see Saitama getting angry over the hole in his cape. And I already made a whole video on the problem with Saitama's cape, so I'm not going to get into that can of worms again. But it isn't too much of a loss, as Saitama's just going to have his housemaid Geno sew it back up for him later. Flashy Flash lectures Saitama on how he needs to swiftly take out his targets in a single strike, and leave behind no trace so nobody knows of his existence. Which is ironic, as that's basically what the entire series is about. Funnily enough, Saitama doesn't like the idea of nobody noticing, and thinks that's kind of lonely. Yet, that is pretty much exactly what's happened to him. Back to the fight, Garo is starting to overwhelm Darkshine as he's getting faster at an alarming rate, and unlocks a new martial art move by combining Water Stream Rock Smashing Fist and Whirlwind Iron Cutting Fist to create Cross Fang Dragon Slayer Fist which is the same combo move Bang and Bomb used to beat Overgrown Rover. Darkshine unleashes his full power punch to try and counter, but Garo responds by punching back and their fists clash. It's stated Garo's limiter is starting to break in an epic scan of him with his clothes bursting and spiraling around him. Both of his eyes turned black in this panel, which brings me back to my previous discussion. Does that mean the dark eyes are a part of his monster transformation? And if so, why were both of his eyes white for most of this chapter? Let me know, let me know, 